Hello, in this video today we will show you how to create custom settings using one of the new features from the version 3.2, the Center Gem Guide. So the first thing that I will do is create my setting. All right, so I will get just one gem. So in this video, we're showing you a few tricks. And from this gem, I will go to the new gem guide ad that you need just to click on this toggle. And you see, and we get this one in the center. This is very, very useful, very convenient, because even if we make any sweep from this guide to this one, even we make this stone bigger or smaller, we will keep always the end of this sweep at the center of the stone. This is why it's a very, very convenient. All right, so we'll keep it like this. Now, what I would like to do is just to add a profile to this guide and another profile to this guide. So I will select the guide, sorry, the profile. I will add it to this guide. And what I will do is just do something like this. Something that it's convenient and you can go to the profile and you can keep this just in the center. So. If I go and I click on grid snap and now I move this, now I have it in the center. You can save this one, just you can say brown profile, brown profile center, and you can save it. So anytime that you need a curve just center on any curve, you can use this profile. I will set it up at one by one. So now we have, and I will put it just a bit higher, something like this. All right, so we have already one here. And now I will add the same here. So I click again on Profile Placer. I will go now to the library and I should get the one that I just saved. Okay, so let me see where I save it because here I have all the ones that I imported from Matrix. So it was called, I have the prong, but I have, I need to find the one that it's called, this one, the center one. Okay, so I select this one. And as you can see now, it's just in the center. From the top view, I will use this one just to, Place it in the right spot, one tap, one. So now here we have, just let me bring it a bit more like this. Now with these two prongs, what we can do is from the surface, we can go to the profile sweep and do a profile sweep between this one and this one. And we get this nice sweep for this. As you can see, I have, I need to rotate this one because from this view will be easier. Let me use the profile sweep. All right, so now that I have the, now I like it. Okay, so, so this is a way to make one profile. Just let me go back to this one and put it a bit lower. Now what we can do is from the profile sweep, I can select this one and this one, and we will get this sweep. Okay, I can move this more like this. As you can see, probably what we need to do is just from this profile sweep, remove the automatic seam. And now we can just add the two seams at the same spot. And now you see, we have this setting. Still, we can go with the gem guides and play a bit with it. We can move this down. And also what I will do is the girdle spacing. I can move it something like this. All right, so this is a way to make uh, this, uh, this prong, this claw. Then of course that we would have to select this profile and to keep it parametric, I will go to Tools and use the Profile Cap. On this profile, I will move it up. And let me just move it like this. You see now we have this nice claw. Now, let's delete this and this. And let, and let me show you another way to do it. So I will also delete this Profile Placer and this one. Another way to do it is go to the curves. And from the curves, what we can do is use the blend curves. So I blend this curve and I blend this curve. And now, as you can see, if I just change the direction, I get the same 
kind of sweep And now it's easier because now I don't need the profile cap that I used before. The only thing that I need to do is again on the profile placer. I will rotate it half and I will use the center one that I have select. And I will say that I want it one by one. And I will use the same at the very bottom. And now I can do the sweep one and it will be even faster. So one, two, and three. I need to rotate this profile so I can go to edit and rotate it until I get the right direction. Very cool. And now the only thing that I need to do is just select this one, go to transform. I can create a polar array and we have this nice setting now with this setting if i go to the gem and i make the gem smaller everything follows accordingly all right so we have a nice setting that now we can we can keep and we can save all right so probably if you want you can also add the from settings uh, gallery rail I will make, make it thinner zero point eight it, it's okay and also something like this All right, so now I have a nice setting and this is a setting that I can use uh, often because this is a kind of setting that I like and I don't want to create it every time. So what we need to do, very, very important. First, we show everything. And now this is our custom setting. This is a very, very important part. Now that everything is visible, this is very important. I will select everything and I will go to collections and let me see collections. I will create uh, a new one. Yes, I think that I, because I don't have any, well, I have my own tools. So maybe what I can create is another one here that I can call custom settings. And in custom settings, I will import all this so let me go back here custom settings save to collections i will call it setting for close save to collections all right so this is already saved let's go for a new file new file i don't have anything here now now what we will do is the following i want to create First, a uh, ring rail, then something like this. It's 2.8, 1.8. I will go to 1.7 and 1.5. Yeah, like this looks better. And now I will add gems to this curve, to the one at the very top, so it's always following this curve. I want from 0 to 0.15. And I want mirror and gems placed at one at the table. Orientation is good and the space thing is fixed. And for size, I will go to, let's go to 2.5. One, two, three, six, seven. I'm okay with that. I have the distance to 0 0.15. That's pretty okay. So I will validate. Now I want to apply to these stones my custom setting. So now just try to figure out the labor that would need to create another one and apply it to all of these. So what we can do is just go to my collections and 
what I will do with this one is I will select it now it's selected and I will import it now that I have import all this parametric block so I have all the different steps that I have done in my dynamic history okay so this is where I have everything once we have import the custom setting the only thing that we need to do is just add it to the stones with the orient to gem so we go to the orient to gem we select the base gem that is this one the objects to orient is the polar array and the gallery rail and the target gems are all these ones so there we go now the only thing that i need to do is just this is okay probably what i can do is uh, ungroup them and from here i can go in to transform I can pull to rail. So this one with this object. Again, this and this object. All right. And probably I can do the same with these two. All right very cool and now it's just a matter about using the normal flow with this I will add the profile just here and I will add the outside curve and I will change the profile to this one and I will create a mirror that's Perfect. I will create a sweep tool between these two guys and this and this. And now I will just create one small profile from here to here. There are many ways to do it, but let me try to do it like this. So I will add a profile. Again, on this one, I will use the same, but I will make it very thin. Okay. And now it's just a matter about doing the sweep. Sometimes, depending on where the seam is, uh, we may have problems uh, because we will do the other uh, side. Let me try. So sweep one between this. If I do the flip, it goes perfect. So probably I can just put a bit more of thickness here. So now is 0.4, we can go to 0.6. Fantastic. Now, if we feel that looks pretty okay, but still, if we would like, we could increase this height. So I just need to go to the outside green rail and just increase it to 2.9 and everything. We'll recalculate so now we have a bit more of room and yeah we are okay also i see that the clothes are not touching each other so i can go to the gem guides and just move them a bit out let's see how it goes now okay so now they are touching so i have all the control and I can make anything. All right, so I hope you like it. This is a very good trick to make this kind of parametric uh, models. Thanks for watching.